Windows 11 is not supported by some PCs and take it from me that is a headache when you're trying to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or install Windows 11 entirely. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 successfully without a bypasser on any PC that is not supported or that does not meet the system requirements. Microsoft is going to stop Windows 10 updates from October 14th and that means that you're not going to get any security updates and technical support from a Microsoft team or just directly through your device. What does this mean for you? It means that you will not get the occasional updates usually sent by Microsoft through your device. Now your operating system might work but you'll have to deal with performance issues and security concerns which will now not be done from their end. Before installing Windows 11, you'll have to download and install PC Health Check just to confirm the system requirements. Now I'm going to leave a link that will help you download this. I have tried to find this link from the Microsoft website because usually you have like many scattered links that will sometimes lead you into applications that do not work. So if you click on this link which I'll share with you, you'll be redirected to the Microsoft download page exactly where you can find the PC Health Check. On this page, you scroll down here and click on download the PC Health Check application. Once you've done this, you'll have the executable file in the exe format in your downloads file. If I do this and download it, it will go into my exe file. It will go into my downloads folder. Then I'll go and install it. Once I've installed it, you want to go to the search option here and just type PC Health Check. If you type PC, it will bring here. Then you're going to run this application. When this opens, click on check now to check your system requirements. And as you see, we don't have the, the PC does not have meet the system requirements. Now, if you go to see results, you'll see exactly what your device is missing. And in my case here, I'm told that the processor is currently not supported for Windows 11. Another thing that you need to notice is that you need to have at least 4 GB of RAM and uh, TPM2 enabled and the PC supports Secure Boost. Now, if you look at this closely, you'll notice that I'm already using the Windows 11. So if I go here and type system information, you'll notice that I am already on Windows 11 Pro, despite having the notification here that my system does not support. So what do you do to install Windows 11 in such a system? The next step to install Windows 11 on your PC is to download the Windows 11 disk image or ISO image. So just go to your browser and type download Windows 11. Once you've typed up and searched, you're going to get the very first um, option here, which is from Microsoft. You need to, to click on this to open the download page for the Microsoft um, for the Windows 11. Once this page loads, you want to scroll down and look for download Windows 11 disk image or ISO image. Now there is an option to select the type of download. In my case, I'm going to select the Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for x64 devices there. Now in some PCs, you'll find the option to like select a language. Now in my case, my case because I've set the default language to English now, I do not have that option here. Then I can click on download now. When you click on this download now you'll get the iso image it's usually a big file up to 4 or 5 gb and so you have to like wait and if you have a faster much faster internet then it will download much faster now once it is downloaded you want to go to your downloads and locate that file so usually after downloading you want to go to your files and look for downloads and look for that file from the downloads. Now in my case, I've already downloaded this file and I have placed it on the desktop. You can place it on the desktop by dragging and dropping for easy access. If not, you can still access it from the uh, downloads folder. Now, what you want to do with this file is you want to like right click on the ISO image itself and then click on mount. So when you click on mount, this file will be created as a drive in your PC. So it has been mounted and open. But if I go to my PC, I'm going to see this here as drive E. This is what has been mounted. So this is the Windows uh, file. Now I need to open this to see the folders inside. Once I've opened this, I need to look for the sources folder and double click to open it. This is where we're going to find our setup file. 
if you scroll down we have two types of setup files so if i scroll here we have the first set the normal setup file which is not we are not going to use so you're going to ignore this not that if you use this you're not going to be successful so i'm going to scroll down and look for the setup prep this is the file that you're going to use now once you've done this you want to go and open the command prompt of your pc so this is simple you just want to go to the search and type cmd and then it will open the command prompt for you then open command prompt from this end here once you're in this section remember that our folder our file was in drive e so we want to access drive e now in windows powershell or terminal if you want to change a directory use the cd command which is stands for change directory so you want to just first of all type the drive name that we found on the other end that this file is located in so we're going to type e and put a full colon and press enter to switch to e so we are right now we are in drive e in drive e we can now view all the folders by typing dir so if, if you look at closely you'll see that we these are the files folders that we have in here now we wanted the sources folder if you want to change the sources folder you're going to type cd sources make sure that there is a space between cd and sources and press enter now in this folder is where we have the setup prep so i'm going to leave this command in the description you can copy it and paste it or type it directly so this is the command that you're going to need to run here so you're going to type setup prep.exe put a space forward slash product put a space server and then you can press enter and now this will bring you the option to ask do you want to allow this app to, to run so you're going to type yes and then now you'll wait for it to start loading so let's minimize all this here now you notice that it's now telling me it is preparing to install windows this is the installation process that will bypass everything whether your system meets the requirements or it does not so right now you just need to click on yes so once this loads you're going to have accept the terms it is usually advised several times to read the terms now in this case you're going to choose if you want to keep personal files or uh keep settings and applications or nothing if you want to completely wipe your drive but if you're just upgrading from windows 10 you want to try and keep your files and settings and all that so you'll click on next and next so for now i'm going to cancel this because mine is installed now that's how you install windows 11 on a pc that is not supported if you find this video helpful like it share it with someone subscribe to the channel and also drop questions or any concerns that you have and if you find any other problem during the installation process feel free to text me i will help you sort it out